All right, guys. I figure I'd work on the uh, the gravel image. These pebble pebbles for a fish tank, and uh, gluing them on here, and then uh, painting them to make a uh, like a dump truck. I noticed some of it was still kind of loose on top. So what I've done here is I took some glue and I put some water with it and poured it in here and sprayed it on top of here. That's what that white there is. Maybe that'll help it adhere better to the uh, board. But then I gotta let it dry some more. I may need to let it dry overnight. Then I'll come back and try to touch up these few little spots here and then we'll be painting it a color. Okay, bad battery. Okay, I let it set overnight and I sprayed some great paint on it, but it seems like it's pretty solid. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint it black. And then I'll show you why. Okay, I painted it black, and now I'm going to show you why, but right now it looks like a bunch of coal, don't it? Like from a mine, coal mine or something. But here's what I'm going to do. I made up some gray, 
watered it down a little bit. I'm going to take a sponge brush, load up my brush, and lightly brush over it. until all the top rocks are gray and the ones underneath are black. That way it looks like they got shadow to them. They'll look like it's a whole lot of rocks there. And where there was places where cardboard showed, are just black now. Down in there, that's cardboard. And it just shows to be black. Okay, I went back over it and I added some dark gray in places. Kind of give it some extra depth. And I went all the way around it. And then I also watered up some gray, a little bit more watery, where it would soak in deeper down in there. But now, since I'm done with it, I'm gonna spray it with some Mod Podge, but I don't want it shiny. So I'm going to add a little bit of baby powder to it to dull it down. So I got something to mix with and I got just a little bit of baby powder. Don't take much. Just a little bit, one sixth of this to how much Mod Podge you use. Sorry, I didn't have it in front of the camera. One sixth of this and if you can see, this just barely goes on the bottom. So I'm not going to mix up much Mod Podge, maybe up to somewhere's in there. But I'm going to add some water, so I want to go about half of that. That compressor's kind of loud, but after I mixed it up, I poured it in here and shook it real good. And then I used... This has turned out real good. This has got one coat of Mod Podge on it and it's got the baby powder mixed in it see how dull it looks I'm gonna add one more coat to make sure to help it a hold and glue all that down real good but it's getting pretty solid but it's going to, have to dry overnight but I'm gonna put one more coat before I let it rest Yeah, I put a second coat on there. It's turned out pretty doggone good. Pretty solid. Yeah, I'm happy with the results. The darker and the lighter grays and stuff in it. And the Mod Podge on top. And that's got the dull finish to it with the baby powder. 
Okay, this here, I'm going to let the fenders dry a little longer because they still feel kind of, it was yesterday, but it still feels kind of tacky, you know. And uh, we'll probably tape it up tomorrow and go ahead and shoot it and paint the, paint the bed too. Paint them both. Candy apple. Candy apple red. Here's the red right here. This is a transparent red. And what we're going to do is put one of these on the bottom. This is kind of a caramel look, caramel look, and this is more of a brown look. Either one of them's got to be sprayed on there, or maybe mix a little of them two together and spray it on for a base. And then the transparent goes on top of that, giving it the candy color. So keep up with me. Here we go. You in the video are giving us a like or subscribing. Makes us want to bring on a little more entertainment. Don't you agree?